Good evening, everyone. So today I'm going to speak about the GST reforms in India. So GST, as we all know, is the goods and service tax. It was introduced on July 1st, 2017, and it aimed to replace a complex system of indirect taxes levied by both the central and state governments. And it aimed to create a unified market across the country. And some of the major benefits of the GST was, the, of course, its simplification and transparency. So one of the primary benefits, as I just said before, is the simplification of tax structure. So previously, we used to have a multiple taxes like uh, the value added tax and many indirect tax that was levied both by the central and state governments. And with the implementation of GST, it was used for making compliance much more easier. The unified tax system also enhanced transparency, reducing tax evasion and improving tax collections. And it also was a boost to the GDP growth as well. So GST aims to boost economic growth by eliminating inefficiencies in the tax system and reducing the overall burden on the tax businesses. So a unified tax regime facilitates seamless movement of goods and services across state borders, promoting interstate trade and commerce. So this in turn contributes to GDP growth by streamlining supply chains and reducing the logistic cost. And the next thing was the expansion of the tax base. So the GST has expanded the tax base by bringing previously unregistered businesses into the formal economy. So with its threshold of registration, GST encourages small businesses to register and avail themselves the input tax credits, thereby reducing the cascading effect of taxes and promoting compliance. And the next thing was the competitiveness and the ease of doing business. By eliminating interstate barriers and reducing tax complexities, GST enhances the competitiveness of Indian business both domestically and internationally. It also improves India's ranking in global ease of doing business indices by simplifying tax procedures and reducing the compliance burdens. But despite all these advantages, it has some disadvantages or challenges as well. So GST implementation has faced several challenges like the initial technical glitches in the GST network. So the portal faced some compliance issues and it was a bit difficult for the uh, merchants and the customers to adapt to this GST structure as well. So it also created an uncertainty and confusion among the taxpayers as well. And additionally, the complex structure of GST with multiple tax slabs has led to classification issues and increased compliance costs for businesses. So what can be further done about this GST challenges is like to address the challenges and enhance the effectiveness of GST, there is a need for further reforms as we discussed before. So simplification of tax rates and compliance procedures, racialization of tax labs and strengthening of the IT infrastructure are crucial areas for improvement. And additionally, harmonizing state and central GST laws to reduce compliance burdens and ensuring smoother implementation of GST reforms can further enhance its efficiency. So in conclusion, GST had brought significant changes to the in in Indian economy, simplifying the tax system, boosting the GDP growth and expanding the tax base. But it still have some challenges and uh, some glitches to overcome. But in the further years, it can be done and GST can be made an efficient method of tax system. Thank you.